All right, today we're going to take a look at a couple more pedals uh, from my collection here. So we're going to do uh, stacking and blending of the Boss MT2 Metal Zone and the TC Electronics iMaster. And the iMaster is based off of uh, an HM2 by Boss, uh, but with only two of the controls, so no high or low control to it. It's just the volume and the gain. I've covered this one in another video and on the Metal Zone and several other videos as well. So let's go ahead and just see what we can do with this. I'm using my Jackson uh, Rhodes guitar, running straight into the iMaster right now, then into the metal zone, and then running into the front of the simplifier. And we'll mix around you know, with some of these. So this is my clean sound. All right, so with the iMaster, everything's set at noon. So it's running into the front of it. Now the metal zone. Let's kind of put everything closer to noon. All right, so I'm not going to break these down too much or anything. Let's go ahead and start stacking them here. So just the metal zone and then boosting it with the eye master. So, of course, doing it this way, we've got control over the EQ uh, since we've actually got that with the metal zone. So I can boost the mids, the highs, cut them, the lows. I was boosted and cut. Highs are cut, now boosted. Could go all the way up with those. And then the mid, if you boost it here, you can kind of get some sweep by turning the outer ring. Higher frequencies are pretty rough. And you can use this to cut those frequencies out too, like find the frequency and then cut it out. So that could be a use for that. Uh, if I turn the knobs over here, obviously if I go too low, then it's going to drop out. It does affect the, uh, the tone of it some, having the volume all the way up versus halfway. I'm in standard tuning too, it's supposed to gain. Doesn't change it a whole lot. I think, so. Let's try this, let's uh, maybe cut the gain all the way down the metal zone. Now it's more of a clean boost, but we still have the EQ controls. Yeah. So that could be an interesting way to stack these two. It might be a a little bit too much gain uh, stacking them in the you know way that's like okay this one's got drive this one's got drive maybe if you cut the volume out all the way out of this or not the volume but cut the gain all the way out of the metal zone then it can still let you use this as a like clean boost with a powerful parametric eq section to it there so let's go ahead and flip things around so that was the i master into the metal zone now we're going to do Metal Zone into iMaster. Right. Metal Zone, like all boss pedals, is going to have the jacks on the side. TC kind of switches it up. This one, the jacks are on the top. Alright. So I can expect what we're going to get out of this. And there's my clean tone, and I'm using uh, Marshall settings on the simplifier. Not quite getting gain uh, from the simplifier itself, but I've got the green back speaker as 412 cabs like I've been using. So, metal zone. Let's get the gain back in there. Alright, so gain. Now let's add the eye master on top of that. So it's getting the HM2 treatment. Uh, let's see, what if I do this? What if I drop the gain all the way down? Okay, cleans it up a little bit. Obviously the gain went up higher. It's gonna add a lot more noise. Which is 
just sitting holding the strings. It drops out. Yeah. Doesn't completely drop out, but you can lower it quite a bit there. Let's try this. Uh, so let's boost it with the volume. There's the volume all the way down. Start introducing the volume. Let's push it all the way. So there's so much uh, gain going on with the iMaster that even uh, with the volume just right above uh, nothing, you're getting about the same uh, amount of gain out of this thing. And as I turn the volume up, you're really not getting that much change in it because it's really providing as much uh, compression distortion as you can provide it there. So let's let's try this. So the gain's all the way down. Let's try messing with the EQ. So that's mids all the way down. It's all the way up. I'm on that annoying frequency that was killing us on the other end. What about the highs? All the way up, all the way down. Barely any difference, a little bit. Let's do the same with the lows. Try a little bit more with the lows, and then cut them out. It's very dry without those. But still with the volume all the way up. So let's do this. Let's try out uh, some different blending options. We tried stacking them, and of those, you know, if you're going for a lot of gain, obviously I think either one of these pedals could get you there, even though the uh, the character, the color is a little bit different on them. That's one of the reasons I'm really curious to see how they're going to sound once I stack and blend them together here. So let's put, it really doesn't matter. If you've watched the other videos I do with these, you know that uh, the old Blood Noise Endeavors pedal does not mix the two of them. It's just going to send a dry signal at full volume to each of the pedals. And then it returns here, and I can kind of use it as a mixer. Or I can even add in some clean, which I will probably do. So let's see. That's... There, and then use the output of the signal blender to go directly to the front of the simplifier here. There we go. Try to get everything in here as much as we can. All right, so even with these pedals engaged, without anything down here. I'm not getting anything from there. So let's see. Let's go turn. There we go. I'll try to stack it in here as best I can. So here's the metal zone. Let's adjust it a little bit. I find a good sound that we're happy with. I'm going to cut that mid frequency that I kind of found out. a little bit louder. I don't want, it, don't want the clean sound to be louder than the metals on there. Alright, same thing with the iMaster on the B channel. Alright, so I can bring up the volume. Let's do this. I'm going to put the volume just about all the way up because I can control what's coming back to it with this volume. phase needed to be So you 
see, we kind of have that typical metal zone sound with a now stacking it or actually blending it with the eye master. Kind of helps give it a little bit more of the, the body, a little bit more of the frequency that we were missing out on. And uh, let's try mixing in the clean one too. Well, I like to do that. Now the clean might jump out too much. I'd have it turn it up like that, but you know, say for solos. Or... I don't know why I did a major solo with these. Still might be a little uh, shrill for for like big chords and like the high up minor chord that I was doing a second ago there. So let's try this because uh, you know anybody that's watched my videos or any other videos on uh, YouTube involving the Metal Zone know that it actually does better running through the effects loop. So let's do a little experiment here. So I'm gonna turn all these off unplug that and how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna run the guitar instead of from the signal blender I'm gonna run it straight without knocking over my camera here I'm gonna run it straight into the simplifier and then I'm gonna use the effects loop for that let's see we're going to send from the simplifier Make sure I still have everything in the shot here. Uh, let's see. Actually, this cable's a little shorter, so let's do this. I go from the send of the simplifier to the input of Signal Blender, and from the output of the Signal Blender into the return of the effects loop. So what I've got now is uh, we've got that Marshall sound that I was that I was running. So if I wanted to give that a little bit of gain, you know, you want to watch the overall volume on this as you bring up the preamp gain. You want to bring down the power drive and then the overall. by the metal zone on Whoa. so let's do this let's bring down the volume it's getting a lot more signal out of this way definitely doesn't sound as thin as it does running into the front of it there and I could do some more balancing things, but I really want to kind of keep moving through this. So let's try out the Eye Master. Yeah, I can tell it's got more. Oh yeah. Let's bring it quite a bit down. In fact, I'll probably just help bring it down to about noon there. And I'll bring it back up on this. So it does matter how you have these plugged in, how you're going to have things set. You don't have to go uh, diming everything out on the iMaster like everybody else does. Alright, so let's stack the two of these. Signal Zone and iMaster. They're not stacked, they're, they're blended.
And then if I blend in the clean sound, it's not really clean. It's what's being fed to it, just the simplifier. So I've got that. Let's add in the master. instruments or in a band practice or anything but I mean that's a pretty full distortion I feel like I'm getting the best of what each of these can offer the metal zone the eye master and the simplifier there is still one more way that I can think of to try this and that is uh, what people say is actually the best way to do the metal zone which is to uh, just bypass the front of an amp altogether and then run directly into the effects return so I'm gonna have to consider a few things like uh, there's, there's no volume control or there's not a lot it's going to be coming straight from the pedal so the pedal's going to have a lot more ability to I guess affect the overall volume of it you probably see what I mean so now I'm plugging the guitar straight back into the signal blender where it's getting the metal zone the eye master and then we're going to run direct right into the return of the simplifier. All right. So as you can see, unprocessed, uh, no preamp going on with this or anything. I'm going to be real camp careful with the volume. I'm going to start all the way down. And bring it up. All right, so that's the metal zone straight into the return of the simplifier. Let's do the same thing with the iMaster, turn it down, bring it up. Again, just raw, raw guitar signal being fed to the iMaster. Let's add in the clean sound. definitely very distorted uh, for sure and it's it's a great full chunky sound I don't feel like as I was doing those high notes though that they were really getting the same amount of presence as uh, just like the uh, chunky part of it so it's a, it's a great distortion sound uh, that I, I was able to come up with on these uh, again I think that these two pedals uh, on their own can leave a little bit to be, to be desired and obviously not meant to be the most versatile pedals. Uh, the metal zone has got a lot more versatility to it though since you can uh, pull all the gain out and it just becomes kind of like a clean drive pedal. So stacking them it's probably best uh, to me anyway if you're using the metal zone with the gain all the way down and then you have that clean boost and then the eq control over it and it has a lot more control if you have the eye master and then the metal zone because that's a much more effective way to control the eq as far as stacking them um, it's really just up to what your setup is going to be and your needs or anything if you can get away with running into the front and have all the pedal board space for all this you know, you can get some good sounds out of it. Uh, running into the return the way that I am, it's like I've got a good sound now, but if I need to switch sounds, I'm very limited on what I can be able to pull up quickly on tap and, you know, not mess the signal chain up too much. And, and it did sound good uh, as well, running all this through the effects loop. Uh, I don't know that, you know, to get my drive tone that I'm going to wind up doing this exact same thing, but it could be something to mess around with in the studio. 
Uh, it's definitely been cool, you know, just sitting here messing around with them. So let's go ahead and cut it for today. Uh, I think I've showed quite a bit of the options with these. So I appreciate everybody watching and I will see you again soon.